so what else um i'm the severe apnea um i think is obstructive also a bit of um what's the autonomic apnea called uh central apnea but my apnea was so bad and and I, and I don't even think this is called apnea that my throat was closing awake i think that is brain damage or nerve damage so severe that my throat is closing and um that started happening awake the minute i completely weaned off the medication like like the day i got off completely off the medication my throat was closing awake and my diaphragm was stopping i was stopping breathing awake from the diaphragm but my throat was closing as well on and off intermittently which just blows my mind and i can't understand how you know that's complex i don't know if that's nerve damage brain damage uh i don't understand um medically how that how you can withdraw off a medication all this damage is happening but but now that you're completely off the medication like literally it's like getting hit by a car it's like being in a train accident um and now i'm not even talking about i'm I'm trying to relate mostly everything that's happening at night like during the day i was having like pseudo bulbar affect on and off and all sorts of all sorts of other things uh like falling down, uh, dropped foot, all sorts, many things were happening. But I'm tr trying to just relate these things. I'm trying, today I'm just trying to tell the story about what's all happening to me in bed. Oh, in bed, it feels like I'm sitting on broken bones and I don't know why. It, it feels like where my leg sockets go into the hips it feels like I'm sitting on shards of glass or shards of broken bone. And I don't know what that is. And I've never looked into that, but now it's escalating so bad. I think the bone or cartilage is gone now. I think this drug injury affected the bone or cartilage. Oh, cartilage between the you know in the hip like i think i need a, i think i need hip hip replacements now since this drug injury the pain the past couple of days is excruciating this started with the drug injury i feel like i'm sitting on broken bones chronic pain i've been diagnosed with fibromyalgia it, this is chronic pain everywhere from this medication injury just it's like soft tissue pain um severe apnea this is the severe apnea has been a living nightmare life-threatening apnea stopping breathing non-stop when this drug injury started literally life-threatening apnea urgent care nobody believed me i had to fight for my life fight this medical system literally i was tortured because nobody believed me the top specialist looking right at me i'm in crisis i'm stopping breathing non-stop top specialist did not believe me and i was left at home stopping breathing non-stop screaming for my life calling everywhere making hundreds of phone calls in months and no one would fight for my life and get me into the hospital 
months later, so so July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, nine months later, I got into the hospital and proved that I was stopping breathing nonstop and proved that I was only sleeping one or two hours a night. And finally, I was provided a CPAP machine, but that wasn't sufficient. And I was being refused, refused care, refused follow-up. 